Let me show you the countdown timer feature in Camtasia. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so I'm here in Camtasia 2023 version, and you do need 2023 version to be able to get access to these specific timers. But if you have their media assets subscription thing, you can also get them from there too. But I'm gonna show you the ones that are in the 2023 version. Okay, so once you're in your media bin, head over to library and make sure you are on the Camtasia 2023 library and you will see here a folder called counters. So these are actually uh, timers, countdown timers, just numbers on the screen. And you'll see they have a decent amount of them. So they've got countdown frames, seconds, a countdown timestamp, a media frame counter, a media timestamp, a parameter timestamp, timeline frame counter, and timeline timestamp. Okay, so let's just go with the first one here. Countdown frames. So I'm just gonna bring it down to the timeline here and I'm gonna drag it down. And you can see here, it's starting at 300 and then it's going down all the way to zero. So if I just click play here, you can see that it is counting down here. And you can extend it if you want. So if you want it to go higher, if you're like, I want this you know, particular number to count down from, you know, what do I have it here at 1,179, you would obviously size it accordingly right? And you could be using this for a number of different things. This one isn't a timer for time, but it's a countdown number. Like let's say you were supposed to, you're doing a challenge or something and you started at 187 hot dogs. <laughs> let's just say, let's just say it was like you eating a bunch of hot dogs. I don't know. <laughs> and then there was like a countdown thing all the way down to zero. Now, you could also go onto the right hand side here and change the font, change the color, and do all the things that you can do with normal text. Basically how you manipulate this is by stretching it out or going back in, making it smaller or larger. All right, let's go on to the countdown timestamp here. I won't go through all of them, but I'll just show you some of them. This one right here, the countdown timer. So let's just put this one from here and this is counting down 10 seconds. So you can see on the timeline here, when it gets to 10 seconds, it gets down to zero. So it is actually 10 seconds. Now, let's say you wanted to do one minute. So you just stretch it out here and get it to that one minute mark. Obviously you'd need to zoom in a bit more to get it more precise, because you need it to get it down to one minute and one minute would be over here, as you can see on the timeline. So I'm just going to move this and then that would be one minute. So this would be a countdown timer for one minute. And again, you know, usually people when there's like, you know, a race or whatever, something happening, you have it just playing here and the one minute timer starts and then it's just gonna do its thing at the bottom here. You can place it anywhere on the screen. This is literally just like a pre-programmed text to be like a, a stopwatch countdown timer. So you can see again on the right hand side, you can change the font. If you don't like the font, you can change the color. You can like, let's say your brand colors are, whoa, let's say it's purple over here. And then, you know, you've got your countdown timer and then obviously your video would be going on in the background, right? And let's say it was like a race or something. So that's another form of counter that they have. Now this one right here, media timestamp. Let me put that one on the timeline here. This one, instead of counting down, is counting up. So let's say, you know, it's the entire duration of your video and you would just stretch it out and then it's just going to keep counting up here. Now, if you double click on it, you can see it's a, it's a code. It's a code that represents this timer. So I wouldn't be messing around with this kind of stuff unless you know how to write this type of code. I won't be messing around with it. I would just stick to this side area here where you can do the font, the size, the color, that kind of thing. So those are the counters features. And you can do a countdown or you have something 
counting up. And again, this is located in the Camtasia 2023. If you do have access to Camtasia's media asset subscription, this right here, the Camtasia assets, then you can get access to a bunch of other ones. So that was a quick video for you guys. Just wanted to show you the countdown, count up feature. A lot of people don't know that this even exists in Camtasia, and it's a nice little feature to know about and have in your Camtasia tool belt. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to master Camtasia the way I have, you guys can take my 10 plus hour ultimate Camtasia course. It's literally everything I've learned. It's a huge Camtasia course that you get lifetime access to. If you want to master Camtasia, I highly recommend taking it. The link will be down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.